Is it on? Oh yeah, no, it's recording. John, Q, how are you? Um, we wanted to come and say goodbye to you properly from all your friends in the UK. Um, and because you're in the Navy, we thought we'd come onto a ship to do it. Uh, it's not moving very far, but then most of our ships don't. And to help me, I brought the Naval officer along, dear chap. So, uh, sanitation from the skimmer. As he says, so this is a target that we're on at the moment. Anyway, John, wanted to say, sorry to hear that you're leaving the service. I'm sure you're going to make the best of it and have a great time. Lots of love to Tina and the kids with your retirement and how it works out. And if Troy's there, big shout out to you too, Troy. Um, but wish you all the best. It's been a great time with you. We all love you. We'd love to have come, um, but of course we can't. It's that far. Tried to arrange a short notice trip, but it was too short notice. So happy retirement from us all. Mate, didn't get to know you that well. I mean, by the time I joined, you gave me all your rubbish that was the international box and um, managed to get through it. But you taught me lots and I forgot lots as well. But <coughs> best, mate, you've made the jump. We're all going to be joining you on the other side at some point soon. So, um, all the best to you and the family. One of you comes your way. Take care. Cheers, John. Hi Q, coming at you straight from outside Downing Street, proper top level reporting from uh, important areas of London, where I work by the way, um, I don't work in Downing Street obviously. Uh, congratulations on, uh, on finishing your time and uh, moving on, we know that your future is going to be awesome, uh, I'd like to do it in the accent but I see it clearly can't, uh, and I really wish you all and the family all the very best, it was a pleasure working with you and, uh, and good luck with whatever you do next and obviously we are, I hope that you can invite us all out uh, to glamorous places in America preferably not at only one week's notice. <laughs> Good luck, thanks, bye! Hey Hugh, it seems like forever since we've seen you, although your legacy lives on here at the Defence Academy, um, mainly in the form of many words for loose minutes. Um, here on the grapevine that you're retiring, so I want to wish you, Tina and the family, all the best for the future. You take care, bye! Q, I understand you're retiring dude, have a great time. Love to all the family. I hope you have a fantastic retirement. It lasts forever and you keep swearing until the cows come home. All the best, dude. Take care. Hey, Q. It's Mark. Sorry that along with the others I can't be there today for your retirement ceremony. Uh, it would have been great to have made it, but it, it was too far and a too short notice. Um, just a short message to wish you well, brother. We had some awesome times. My favourite, uh, probably you catching the prima ballerina's bouquet at the opera in the, uh, sorry, the ballet in Bucharest. Uh, also, some awesome, awesome trips, awesome martinis, and a great time had by all. Give my love to Tina and the kids, and see you soon, brother. All the best. Bye. John Q. Cullinan, I've heard the disparaging news that you've chosen to become a flat-faced civilian. It, deep, it deeply disturbs me, but the reason why is oftentimes as I'm going through our Ways core exam, I find myself asking, what would Q do? And then I realized Q would simply give an A or an F because it makes the loose minute writing so much easier. In all honesty, Q, I want to wish you, uh, Tina and the family, all the best in retirement. Best wishes from your Canadian friend. Cheers. Q, dude, how's it going, mate? Really sorry I can't be there for your retirement celebration. Hope you have a fantastic time as befits all your years of service, mate. Best wishes for the future and wherever adventures away. Lots of love to Tina. And don't forget, rock and roll all night, party every day. Hey there Q, Ben here from our Shrivenham days. How could I ever forget our boozy trip to Berlin, which was absolutely awesome. Uh, and, uh, and also some of your amazing advice. My favourite bit of which was uh, always travel with a bag big enough to fit in a dead hooker. Because you never know when you might need it. Um, hey, wishing you all the best for a tip-top adventure next. Hey John, it's Paul Morris here. Um, how the devil are you? Or what's up, as he used to say to me in the corridor. Took me a long, long while to figure out what that actually meant and didn't require that long an answer. Do you remember? Outside the photocopying, many, many times. Hey John, I, I understand that you're going outside shortly and uh, I know that that will be a massive crisis for you and I thought you need some crisis planning advice. So I'm sending Guy Barmer over to see you. Hope that's all okay. Awesome. Anyway, John, take good care of yourself. Wish you all the very best for future life. And uh, we're thinking of you as you finally retire. All the best. 
Hey Q, so you're leaving the US Navy, who'd have thought? Um, Q, we had a great time when we worked together at CDIV here at Shrivenham. We had an absolute blast. We significantly failed to take anything seriously whatsoever. Our reports were of certain quality, um, but we had the best time and I thoroughly enjoyed all our time working together. Um, Q, whatever you have to do in the future, I wish you the very, very best. So there's only one more thing to do. Cheers, Q. Stay classy. Hi, Q. It's me again. I just thought I'd come down here to Buckingham Palace and see if the Queen would like to say a quick word to you. Uh, sadly, she's a bit busy today. So, from all your friends in the UK, final farewell, best of luck in your retirement, all rooting for you. Because let's face it, when you retire, you can be like a honey badger, can't you? Because honey badgers don't care, honey badgers don't give up.